And it's even been shown now that physical exercise actually helps regenerate injured nerves, helps protect the nerves. And there's now new research showing where you can actually grow new memory cells or new neurons in your hippocampus if you're right, if you're on an effective, comprehensive lifestyle approach. So, I've injured my calf. Do I have any hope of ever recovering from this injury? Well, yes, of course. That's why you go to the doctor and you get evaluated and they say, I sit at least twice a day for 20, for 20 minutes, um, uh, make, take anti-inflammatories, do this, do that, stay off of it, use your crutches, and as you start feeling no pain, start mobilizing it. And yesterday, just actually Friday, two days ago, my sports medicine doctor says to me, you know, you're going, to be, you're going to be off crutches by the weekend. And I was so thankful. I didn't want to be up here <laughs> ready to fall over wincing in pain and hold it on the crutches. And um, it's amazing how, how rapidly the body can heal if you're actually doing what is necessary to heal. Likewise, we're learning that the brain can heal the challenge is, is that many times we're not aware of the things available to us to optimize that healing process, to do the best that we can with what is available. But what if, what if I decided, you know what, uh, I have this injury. I'm just going to keep playing basketball every day at lunchtime because I love it so much and it's good for me my heart rate up, it's good for my circulation, and it cuts the stress down, and all of those things are good for muscles. I've read it in the research. What would happen if I continued to play basketball with that injury every day at lunchtime? Would I ever get better? No, I wouldn't. I would never heal. In fact, it would continue to deteriorate and fall apart to the point where I would not be able to walk at all. And this is a very, very important concept for us to understand because so oftentimes the inability to heal from, from many different types of chronic diseases is simply because we don't realize that we're continuing to do the very same things that caused the problem in the first place. And that's why the conventional view would be that there is no hope, that there is no cure, there is no ability to, to come back from this. We're too far gone. And I'd like to suggest to you that we need to change that paradigm of thought. We need to recognize that there's hope. 